You know what I think is the most annoying thing in life? We see it in, on other people. We have it ourselves. We do it ourselves. And, you know, such a bad habit is making excuses to why life isn't fair and why we're not granted what we wish we were granted by not doing any work and just expecting it to happen because you're you and because things happen to your life that you deserve a break. And in reality, it's like this break and this thing that you wish you had is never gonna come unless you work towards that thing. It's one of those safe zones, safe mechanism that you grab onto in order to like blame everybody. It's the light that flashes on everyone because this is something that has hurt you. A lot of times it's like, these excuses are, 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 are what stops us. And these excuses are what makes people poor and what keeps people broke and what keeps people from going from their goals, going to achieve their goals and creating something that they wish they had. It's these excuses that you have in your past experience uh, because your mom whooped you too hard, because you're never good at school, because you don't like how this feels. Or I don't know what it is, but it's just a bunch of bullshit. And when you can see through your own bullshit and when you can see through the bullshit of other people is when you're going to be able to enlighten yourself and proceed with a clear vision of what you want to do and achieve it, you know, and you're going to also know how unimportant and how little these actually, these little small action things are, you know, where it's like you're making them, you, 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 you ponder on them, you study them so much that they become bigger than what they need to be. And I just think that's just like, when you, when you're able to see that from, 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 a different perspective or even like your own perspective like seeing if you're one of those people like it's fine you know but just work on it because that is the biggest pause that you can have in your life you know it's you know it just it's, it's a reminder everywhere man you know like I, I a lot of times I feel like we learn it from our family that we grow up with because it's you know you are the company you keep so you're basically trained by the people you're mostly influenced by which are you know if, if you're close to your family if you're close to your friends if you're close to anyone it's like you're gonna be influenced by them and I think these are the habits that we pick up and like the moment you see something happening that you don't like amongst your group of friends or family like that's something you have to really look into and be like am I like this as well or am I just gonna talk shit about this person because that's how they are but really I'm sort of like this because I spent so many so much time with them you know and I think it's very important to just look at where you are and who you're surrounding yourself with and to know that like what is a, what are, what are the pros and cons about this this circle you know it's a, is it a fr fake friendship is it a real friendship is it you know, if this is a motivation level super low is motivation level of parting super high is like what it, what are the good and things you're going to come out of these things and you have to learn how to put your time in, in certain efforts and, and, and into el certain elements are going to only enhance your life not decrease from where you're going so i just think it's very important to to, to really look at where you're at and it's just fully engage in yourself and, and look in the mirror and be like what am i doing where like what what do i need to work on how am i going to become a better person you know like really can tear yourself up man because at the end of the day the last thing we like is when pe other people tear us up so like i think for me it's like growing up a lot of times i i've, I've I, I got used to people saying i was wrong so many times like you're doing this wrong you're doing it wrong reroute 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 prove to me that you're rerouting prove to me you're rerouting and there's a came to a point where I did nothing. I, I said, "Fuck it, I'm not saying nothing about what I'm doing. I'm just gonna move in my own arena and shake what I need to shake off and proceed and do whatever I need to do to create habits for myself and create success. And anything I need to do to achieve, it's like it's all me. You know, if, if your dreams, you know, scare you, you shouldn't be talking to people who are gonna agree uh, on your uncertainty or frightened moment. You have to always make sure you listen to yourself." you fell forward if you know that this person is gonna drag you down and we all have those people we know that it's like I can't tell X or Y because I know her response I know his response I know their response like don't do it the most important buildup that you need is internal is yourself is you creating a solid foundation a solid structure a sound structure that's gonna allow you to move forward regardless of what the results are if they were too big or if they were too small if whatever it was you know like that you yourself are, are, are the first one that's going to have to really change perspectives and turn everything that you get into a fact sheet of results that's going to enable you to proceed to the next step and you never take things personal you never take things personal that's the biggest thing in life
life has never taken anything personal. When you cannot, and when you learn to not take things personal and not necessarily be on offense, but like really just take it for what it is and be like, I'm either not, I'm either going to take it and learn from it, whatever I'm hearing and adapt it to my life, or I'm just going to hear it and disregard it like it's a trash can on a MacBook. You know, that's what it is. And like, because again, we don't want to get caught up in the bullshit. And that's the bullshit. The little things in life is what most people are caught up on. Like, no, no one's caught up on a big dream. No one's caught up on a humongous fantasy that only they could see that they are aiming towards. You know, everyone is caught up on the little bullshit things in life. And they continue to do that because everyone else does. And it's just a battle of who's caught up in the most bullshit reason why they cannot succeed and progress in life. That's what everyone's doing. And if you're doing that, then you're done. You're done. You're not doing nothing. You're not elevating yourself at all. You're digging yourself deeper. The deeper you get into, the harder it is to push out and battle these negative things when you're trying to succeed. So the faster you get to this plain side of action and plain side of the field, you're good to go, man. And like, that's just what it is. It's like, if you're, if you're going to stress, stress on the goal, not big, big, being big enough. You know, if you're going to stress, stress on, I'm not doing enough today. You know, I'm not waking up earlier. I'm not making this many calls. I want to progress. I'm not progressing. And that's what the stress should be. Not last year, this shit happened. I can't do this because of this reason. Like that's the shit that everyone else is doing. And the moment you're seeing yourself complaining about the little shit, the moment you see yourself complaining why you didn't make a sale that day, you're not working hard enough. That's it. You know, you're not pushing. You're not. You're not grabbing all your resources and putting them in that and putting them into action and, and, and allowing them to play. You know, that's what you have to do, man. Life is a game, man. And if you're not playing the game, you're stuck. You know what I'm saying? And the biggest misconception that I have learned and that will probably push people on is is is. You can make it happen anywhere you want. You know, a basketball court is a basketball court. A win is a win. You win the same way. You win through willingness and hard work and how hard you're willing to actually can play the game. If you're not doing it, you're not going to win. If it's one degree, if it's in 110 degrees. Like, the thing is a win is a win and it only takes one objective to win. Is how hard are you willing to play? That's it. It's like everything else could go out the window my shoes were untied my shoes were too big these aren't basketball shoes i don't have the right socks on i have a sprained wrist like whatever dude everyone has a sprained wrist everyone has something to blame you know that's a fucking sprained wrist it's fucking it's 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 being tired is an excuse why you not didn't go hard enough that's what it is that's all fucking tired means you know taking a defeat means looking at what happened getting the results and taking those results and putting them to work you know and and, and flipping those results that's what it is. You lost the game by 50. Why? Because I don't know how to shoot. Well, I'm going to work on this jumper. You know, I'm going to work on this. And that's what it is, man. It annoys me to hear people complain about bullshit. You know, it's like I don't need, like, I don't need to hear you talk. There's so much to do in life. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> Whatever I said, that's all it is. I'm not trying to bullshit anybody. I'm not trying to fuck, you know, I'm not anyone special i'm not anyone not to say that i'm anywhere near where i want to be but i'm doing it you know if i wake up every morning by myself i i choose when to wake up i choose how hard i want to wake up i choose how fast i want to wake up i choose where to go first thing i want to do second thing i want to do third thing i dictate my whole life everything nobody ever says nothing to me why because i'm living my life the way i want to i'm creating a sustainable foundation for myself in order to live my dream and goals of whatever they are big or small i'm living it you know and that's what i have and i know that that's more valuable than any money i could ever receive and that's the reason why i'm so hungry and determined to maintain this lifestyle because it's a lifestyle that is priceless i wouldn't trade it for anything people got to realize it's not about money and the moment you realize that the money comes after you're successful is the moment you're going to become successful. And no matter what, just play the game. You know what I'm saying? Play the fucking game. It all happens when you're playing. It all happens when you're in motion. Nothing happens when you're stopped and stagnant. Anything. Nothing. You know? So that's just what it is. And like I said, I'm no one special. I've never was good at school. I flunked the fifth grade. I didn't pass high school legitimately I fucking cheated on my test in high school the only reason why I graduated high school is because I cheated and the reason why I cheated because I was a smart man and I fucking talked to the people and memorized what I needed to memorize in order to ask someone what test they had and if it matched my test and I went to go sit right next to them and I fucking persuaded them to let me cheat and that's it man you know like that's it 
and now I'm fucking here. You know what I'm saying? And the and, and you know got kicked out of college first semester. Fucking, I I went to college to get on academic probation. That's what I went to college for. First semester academic probation. Why? Not because I wasn't intelligent. Because I didn't want to put my effort and time into learning this criteria that wasn't gonna get me anything. And I'm just a normal dude, man. If I wasn't, if I didn't have the, ter- the determination that I have, I would have, I would be somewhere. I don't know where I will be, you know. Like that's just what it is. That's the crazy part. But I'm here, you know, because I, I, I work. I put the hours in. I do what it takes. I can work beyond my ability. Every morning that I wake up, I want to work harder than yesterday. I'll do anything and everything. I don't have. Uh, ego. I don't have pride. I have pride in how hard I could work. Doesn't matter in what arena, but I work harder than anybody. You know, that's why I'm fucking successful. Because I'm. I will stay up all day. I will stay up all night. I will do five things at once. I'll do three things. I have no idea on how to do and do it. But everything is passion driven. I love it. I love the drive and love the motivation. I love the excitement of being somewhere new. The excitement of not knowing what the outcome is, but creating an outcome for myself that was mine you know that that's that's a personal that's custom that's a custom outcome that's what is dope for me it's a it's it's not knowing it but knowing that in return i'm gonna get something for my hard work that was created and 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 executed and the result's gonna be mine you know no one else's i don't want to do the same shit that someone else is doing i don't want the same result you know i i you know at the end of the day we're all going towards money that's the result that everyone wants but that's the mediocre result that's the result that everyone's going for that the people who are doing it the wrong way is probably the 95 percent and the ones that are doing it the actual way are the five percent that are fucking wealthy as fuck so just keep that in mind i don't know if you guys could get anything out of it that'd be great but i think i'll probably start doing it like this just because i feel like i'm gonna pay in the stage right now where I could relate to to you guys and you guys could relate to me to where I am in life. You know, I don't have millions in the, in the in my bank, you know. I don't have that. I just would rather do it now than 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 when I could say like, yeah, I'm a multi-billionaire. Like, oh, yeah, like this is this is this is let me try to no fuck that. You know, let's do this shit now together, you know? Like we all have the different story. We all have this different thing. We're just all trying to be successful and happy in life. And that's what that's what I want to share with you guys. I, I'll give you what I did and you take it for what it is and you create your own steps. And you could try to do it as much as possible, as, as close as to what, how I'm doing it. It might work. It might not work. That's for you to decide on how you manipulate and mold what your results are into your journey. So let me know if you guys want me to continue doing this thing. I know it's like a 20-minute little fucking uh, recording, but... Yeah, I'm out of here. Don't forget to put style on everything and follow me on Instagram. Bye, Carlos Roberto. Bye-bye, guys.